guys. It's been a tiny bit since you've seen me. That's because I've been working really, really hard and the day is approaching quickly for the new release of my book, the second in the Heineful Castle series. So I am very excited to give you a cover reveal today. I just want to thank all of you who supported me with book one and have just been so amazing through the entire experience that have made doing book two um, exciting and just so pleasurable. So I just want to give you uh, all a huge thank you and a shout out. Um, so this book um, is continuing the Heineful Castle series. It's called A Town Without Time, and that's not super new news because I've had the pre-order up for a little bit, but the cover is new. Now, I did um, already share it with my email newsletter and the, the folks in my Discord group, so if you're in either of those, this is slightly old news, but maybe you're not a part of it. And so you're waiting to see this beauty, and it is a really a beauty. I'm super, super happy with it, super proud of it. Another huge thank you to uh, my cover artist, Sludge Painter, for uh, doing this art because it is truly art, and it's um, one of my favorite things about uh, writing these books has been supporting Sledge and my editor, Julie Mozart, and as fellow artists, being able to encourage them in their craft has been some of my favorite parts. But on to what this book is actually about. <laughs> so I'll just read the back for you. Can't see it. Not yet. Uh, so Sven Du Ritchie is a coward. He knows it. His family knows it. His entire village knows it. That is why his mother dragged him to their local Ancient One temple to be cleansed. She was sick of the dishonor his cowardice brought to their family name. But when the priestess at the temple declares he must spend time at the place of his greatest fear, the Dark Castle, as part of his cleansing, will he be able to actually do his commandment? His village comes under attack by bandits, and Sven falls down into a well while running away from them. The Ancient Ones defend the village by using a magical scroll that freezes them all in time, making every last bandit, Ancient One, and villager into living statues. Everyone except, except Sven, that is. He is left alone, and with every heroic person frozen in time, Will a coward be sufficient, or will he walk away from his village forever? So, um, the in the book, first book of the series, The Dark Castle, it follows Victor Tolmes, who's the caretaker of this castle. Um, this one, obviously, as the description says, follows Sven du Ritchie, and basically he believes this castle to be haunted, and, um, shambles and ruins and he's terrified of it and it is not until basically he falls down the well and gets rescued by this kooky old man and then finds out his entire village has been frozen in time and that he realizes he needs to do something or does he there's conflict in within him, like, does he need to do this? Like, his all his village, all his life, all they've ever done to him is, you know, persecute him, hate him, um, shame him, and basically because of something that happens at the temple, I won't tell you much, but he feels even less inclined to free them because of the repercussions. But at the same time, this is his family we're talking about, even 
them, he doesn't feel super, super loyal to them. There is a measure of obligation he feels, and um, they're, they're the only family he's ever known. So, then there's also some things that get wrapped up in there that um, they entice him to um, pursue that path of freedom for them. Maybe not. Um, like I said, this is a whole conflict with him because ultimately he just does not want to uh, have to face his fears. So, yeah, it's, it was a really, really fun one to write. Um, I've actually been writing it since, I think, 2017. And um, it's gone through a whole lot of work and um, many, many drafts. And um, I've added a lot to it since I originally wrote it um, in 2017. Um, <laughs> you know, things really evolve and change over time. But... I, um, I'm really, really proud of it, and I think Sven is one of my favorite characters of all time that I've written. He has a really special place in my heart, and, and in fact, a little fun fact that I uh, have about him is that when I was writing um, his book, or planning out in the process of telling his story, I was making sourdough bread. And if you know anything about making sourdough bread, is you have a yeast starter. And basically, this was like a pet to me. <laughs> and so I named it Sven after the character in this book because it was just that, he's just that dear to me. I just love, I just wanted to name something after him. And, um, something as <laughs> yummy as bread just seemed deserving of such a name of Sven. He, in the book, he's definitely a little bit of a doughboy, so um, I, I love it. I love him. And, um, unfortunately, my yeast died. <laughs> it, got, it got moldy. But in my heart, Sven will always live on. And um, both the yeast kind and in the book character <laughs> kind. So definitely a lot of fun. And maybe it's time for a little reveal now. Ready to see it? Because I know I am so ready to show you. Ready? Here it is. Let me get you a closer look here. Obviously, as I said in my last cover review video, this is a proof copy, but I get to just make sure that um, you know the inside looks okay, outside looks okay, and that everything is as it should be. One final check. But so this gray bar is not going to be included in the actual cover because it is just a proof copy. Um, but this, this is it. It's so pretty. Um, I love the fox we have on the cover. She does play a pretty important role um, in the storyline. And her name is Gemarin. And because she's a fox with made of gems, a little play on words there. And um, this is the back. You can see she's also on the back. And I'm on there too. <laughs> the, I love it. I love it. And um, I just wanted to show how chunky this book is. This is a big one. I think it is 485 pages. Something like that, somewhere in there. Yeah, it's 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 big. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there is the spine. So lovely. I love how my name. Maybe that sounds weird, but the the name has like the orange, so it just pops. Such such just does an excellent job with these. Uh, I mean, everything from the birds up here to. Um, just, just, even just like right here, the most boring part is maybe you can't see it super well. It's definitely prettier in person, I'll tell you that. I don't have the best of cameras, but it is just beautiful. As you guys can see, it is a gorgeous cover. And I really think 
that it's it's different enough from um, book one that they uh, definitely you can definitely tell the difference, but there's definitely still a you know cohesiveness. They go together. They definitely, definitely go together. But as you can see, this book is a lot bigger. Um, but there's still it's definitely still a, a set a series. So I am very, very excited about this. So um, if you guys haven't been following along with the live readings we've been doing of The Dark Castle, I, I encourage you to that. We've been doing live audiobook readings. It's been a whole lot of fun. Um, and actually, tomorrow uh, we will be doing three more chapters of The Dark Castle. I believe that would be chapters 11 through 13 we'll be doing. And then right after in my Discord, we will be doing the first two chapters of A Town Without Time. And actually, we will um, be doing this before it releases because it releases on January 22nd, 2021. So I am really, really excited about that. Um, and then so it releases on the 22nd, which is a Friday, and then we'll be having a live release party um, on the Sunday, January the 24th, and we'll have that, I'll probably have that in the afternoon, and I really am looking forward to that, as that is always a lot of fun. Last time we had a blast playing all the games and whatnot. So I'm really excited for this one, and, um, I also want to leave the little tidbit that we meet a character in here um, that is going to be a main character of another little episodic uh, series I plan on doing. Um, I've discussed here and there this idea of doing what I call video book series, which is like an audiobook, but next level, and um, I'm really excited about it, and it's going to be focused on her and her story, and we will be meeting her in this book, and she plays a very big part in it, and I don't want to say any more than that, but her story is told in the Knights of Aconite series. So my current plan is to make it into a video book, so that will be on my YouTube channel. However, I am also planning on releasing them in short little novellas um, on Kindle as well. Um, none from print because they're going to be super small because it's going to be just like one season's worth of uh, story. Instead of doing uh, chapters, I'll be doing episodes. So. It's a little different, but um, I'm really excited to play around with that story format. And I'm excited for you to meet her in this story. So, yes, that's very exciting. So I just wanted to give you guys a uh, another look at this beauty. And just show you how gorgeous it is. So, so pretty. just remember uh, January 22nd is the release date and it's going to be released um, if you pre-order now I have the price set for $2.99 as soon as it releases it's going up to $3.99 so if you want to save that dollar pre-order is uh, the choice for you and um, yep so if you pre-order you'll be getting it first because it automatically sends to your Kindle on midnight of that night, um, the 
a second. And then you'll automatically get it. And then print, it'll be available. Then on the 22nd as well. And it'll be available for Kindle Unlimited on the 22nd as well. I hope that you all are doing well and are health, staying healthy and well and peaceful during this time. And until next time, I will be seeing you all shortly. Because now that this sucker's done, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so I'm excited to see you guys soon and hope you all do well. Bye for now.